somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Queen Thistle's Teapot. Da da do dum da dee da. Da da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh! Ooh! It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look, but don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly. But look and don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben, I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it, then? Well, you can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. <gasps> How do you like your tea, Mr Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> Ah, Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot. Oh, no. Mummy will be so sad. We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadu, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben Elf! <laughs> <laughs> so... Can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best friend. And you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly dibble make us invisible. Hey, it worked! Come on! <laughs> dum da dum dum ta dee da! Shh! There's Nanny! Ben, be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> I bother! My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Uh, hello, Mrs Elf. 
What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum. We're just going to mend something. Yes, elves are good at mending things. And you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mum. This is where I keep all my mending stuff. <laughs> Glue, paint, brushes and glitter. Oh, goody. First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. And we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. There, it's mended. Hooray! Hmm, it doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. That's better. Hmm. It had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think he was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I love glitter. It's so glittery. <laughs> there. Hooray! Do you think your mum might see the difference? Uh, yes. Maybe it just needs more glitter. No, Ben. We tried to mend it, but it didn't work. We'll just have to ask Nanny Plum for a spell. All right, let's go to Nanny. Da la la dee da 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 da. There's Nanny. Go on, ask her for a spell. La la la. Nanny, please can I ask you a question about spells, please? A question? Of course. Nanny, a little friend of mine has broken something and wants to mend it. What spell can she use? Do I know this little friend? Uh, no. She's a goblin. And she lives far away, and you don't know her at all. Is it a special thing this little goblin broke? Yes. And did the little goblin break it on purpose? No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to break it. <gasps> oh, I see. You broke it. Oh, Nanny, I didn't mean to break it. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It can't be that bad. It is is that bad? Don't be silly. It's not as if you've broken the Queen's teapot. <gasps> what did you break? The Queen's teapot. Oh. Mummy's going to be so sad. But we did mend it. Well, I'm sure it's OK then. It doesn't look exactly like it did before. <coughs> ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No. Mummy, it was me. I did it and I've been sad all day. <gasps> And now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh, oh no, my poor darling. Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. 
But, Mummy, you were going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh, I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before. Shall I give it a dust, Your Majesty? No. This is one of a kind and very fragile. No one must touch it. Promise. We, we promise. promise. I will treasure it forever.